Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. First, the headlines. With the participation of experts and specialists from inside and outside the Sultanate, the first Omani Obesity Conference discusses the latest treatment and researches in the field. The Research Council funds 111 student researchers as part of the Student Research Support Program for the current year. Saudi Arabia announces that suspects are in custody in the death of the Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi in Istanbul. Those are the headlines and now for the news in detail. In accordance with the plans and procedures for Omani British Joint Exercise Al Saif Al Saria 3, Swift Sword 3, which is implemented by the Sultanate's armed forces and other security, military and civil institutions in the Sultanate in cooperation with the British Royal Armed Forces, Major General Matar bin Salam al Balushi, Commander of the Royal Army of Oman, accompanied by Major General Stuart Skeets, Head of the British Forces, Assistant Commander of the Joint Forces, paid a field visit to Omani and British military commands at the theatre of the ground operation. The visit covered Sultanate of Oman Tactile Armour Vehicles Command Field Military Hospital and the British Force Camp, in addition to headquarters of land forces and British forces. They were acquainted with the readiness and mechanisms of the joint military work. They were also briefed on the accomplished tasks and duties, as well as the missions to be implemented in the upcoming stages of Safe Al Saria 3 exercise. Efforts are continuing from the directorates and units of the Ministry of Defence and the Sultan Armed Forces to utilise all of its human and technical capabilities to achieve all the national objectives of Shamuk 2 and Saif al Saria 3. These units are supporting participating on the ground in the two exercises. The engineering services at the Ministry of Defence continues to provide all basic services of electricity generators and water supply. It also works to maintain all military equipment and paves the roads. The Transport Division of the Armed Forces provides all types of vehicles for the transport of deploy forces and military equipment from one place to another on the ground. Other units and divisions provide telecommunication and medical services for participating forces on the ground of the two exercises. Under the auspice of His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Saidi, the first Oman Obesity Conference organized by the Ministry of Health represented by the National Diabetes and Endocrine Center in collaboration with the Oman Diabetes Association and the Embassy of the United States of America in Oman began today at the Crown Plaza Hotel. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rabai. This first conference on obesity in Oman, organized in collaboration with the Embassy of the United States of America, gathers experts and lecturers specialized in the field of obesity treatment and surgery from the Sultanate, the USA, the United Kingdom and France. Around 200 medical cadres, allied medical health care professionals, educators, nurses and dietitians from various health care institutions around the governorate of the Sultanate are here to attend this conference. The conference aims to discuss the obesity diseases, diagnosis methods and treatment latest developments of related researchers, the most important results of various studies, as well as raising and promoting the efficiency of healthcare workers. Amazing conference and I want to thank the Oman Society of Diabetes for inviting me. I'm honored to be here. We put all the world experts in this session and giving us the best how to improve the weight loss and sustain the weight loss. This is more difficult. The conference's lecturers address a number of important issues including obesity and nutrition, therapeutic feeding for obesity and latest studies in the field of obesity, treatment by medications. The lecturers also touched on the non-surgical interventions in the treatment of obesity, clinical treatment options for weight gain, steps and therapeutic protocols for obesity and obesity in children and women. Hi, I'm Dr. Regina Benjamin, I'm the 18th United States Surgeon General. I'm here um, for the first um, ever uh, obesity conference in Oman. Um, obesity is a major problem around the world. Um, it's increasing. Um, we've had a tremendous amount of obesity in the United States. In fact, the first lady, um, former first lady, Michelle Obama, initiated Let's Move 
and I was a part of that. So I'm going to be talking about that today. Mm -hmm. We're here as um, the U.S. State Department has sponsored, is a co-sponsor of this conference, bringing us here to share our knowledge of what we know and how we can get people active. Um, I'm going to focus on population health and public health. It's worth mentioning that the prevalence rates of overweight and obesity in the Sultanate is currently about 60% of the total adults. Furthermore, obesity is a global disease with increasing rates in adults and children worldwide. Staying in control of your weight contributes to a good health now and as you age. Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Sultanate of Oman Television, Masqat. The Oman Pharmaceutical Society organized the third annual pharmaceutical conference in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, represented by the Royal Hospital. The event was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Yahya bin Badr al Mawali, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Social Development. A reporter, Salah bin Kalthan al Rabi, has more details in the following report. Under the theme, The Pharmacist is Your Medicine Expert. Oman Pharmaceutical Society organized the third annual pharmaceutical conference in collaboration with the Ministry of Health represented by the Royal Hospital. This year we've chosen our theme to be Pharmacist is Your Medicine Expert and that is in line with FIB, Pharmaceutical International Federation. Um, this theme means that it has two ways. To the pharmacist, it's an alarm for him to take care of the patient in pharmaceutical-wise all the way around. And it is a message to the patient that we are here for you. Anything you want it, we are here to take care of you. The conference focused on the latest developments of pharmaceutical sciences and model treatments in three main sessions, where local and international speakers from Germany, the UAE and Kuwait presented more than 10 scientific papers on the latest innovations in chemotherapy and immunotherapy. My paper today is going to be about a small introduction or a brief the basics of the oncology pharmacy, what oncology pharmacy is uh, to the uh, people who do not know what oncology pharmacy, familiarize the uh, pharmacists about this discipline which is considered one of the most uh, complicated disciplines in medicine. My topic will be about the child wound cancer, what we should know. And um, uh, I will talk about uh, the warning signs of childhood uh, uh, cancer. It is very important because the role of pharmacist in, um, in, um, in oncology in particular is very important from per, per, not only preparation of medicine but also availing these medications, the new developments in these medications and so on. So it's very important for all. More than 150 pharmacists and other medical staff from various governorates around the Sultanate attended the conference to discuss the uses of nuclear medicine and radiotherapy in addition to the international advancements in biologicals and biosimilars used in the treatment of chronic diseases. This conference does not only enrich the pharmacist with the latest worldwide pharmaceutical therapies, but it also highlights the significant role played by pharmacists in different healthcare settings. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Saleh Bukhalfan al Rahbi, Muscat. The Research Council announced the funding of 111 student researchers as part of the Student Research Support Program for the current year. The program is allocated for supporting research of students studying their first university degree in higher education institutions in the Sultanate. The funded projects were for 18 academic institutions at the cost of 178,000 Omani Riyals. The program has received 266 students' research projects. The program aimed to build research capabilities of students of higher education institutions and enhance their creative skills in research activities and enrich their knowledge. Saudi Arabia announced that suspects are in custody in the death of the journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The statement said that the Washington Post contributor last seen on October 2 was killed in a fistfight at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. The kingdom also said that 18 suspects were in custody and that intelligence officials had been fired. Some critics expressed skepticism of the Saudi account, 
which was vastly different from that given by the Turkish officials. A prominent journalist and royal court insider for decades in Saudi Arabia was living in self-imposed exile in the U.S. He went to the Saudi consulate in Istanbul to obtain paperwork for his upcoming marriage. In a statement last night, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said the U.S. will closely follow international investigations into his death and will advocate for justice that is timely transparent and in accordance with all due process. An offensive by U.S.-backed forces against the Daesh group's last redoubt in eastern Syria killed 35 jihadists today. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said 28 Daesh members were killed in airstrikes by the U.S.-led coalition around the town of Hajin. And a further seven jihadists were killed in on-ground fighting with the Syrian Democratic Forces, who launched a coalition-backed offensive against the Daesh-held pocket in the Euphrates Valley last month. Thousands of protesters were gathering in central London today to call for a second referendum on Britain's exit from the European Union. The London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, was among those set to address the People's Vote March, which accumulates at a rally in Parliament Square. Organizers expect the protests to be the biggest of its kind, with about 150 buses ferrying thousands of activists from across the country to the capital. Britons voted to leave the trade bloc by a narrow margin in the 2016 EU membership referendum. Prime Minister Theresa May has ruled out another public vote on the subject. Britain is scheduled to leave the EU on March 29, but negotiations have been plagued by disagreements, particularly over the issue of the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland border, which will be the UK's only land frontier with the EU after Brexit. There are growing fears of a no-deal exit, which could create chaos at the borders and in the economy. Dozens of Afghans were killed or wounded in poll-related violence today as the legislative election turned chaotic with hundreds of poll centres failing to open and voters queuing for hours due to technical glitches and lack of staff. Election organisers who have been scoured over their shambolic preparations for the long delay, ballot extended voting until Sunday for 360 polling centres after hiccups with voter registration lists and biometric veri verifications devices caused lengthy delays at least three people were killed and more than 30 wounded in multiple explosions across kabul after the taliban warned voters to boycott the ballot to protect their lives At a cost of 4 million Omani Riyals, an agreement was signed to establish the Chinese downtown complex in the Walaya of Sur. The project will be constructed in Sur Industrial Estate in an area of 26,000 square meters. The project will include a group of commercial shops like clothes, furniture, electrical appliances and building material shops. More than 600 ships with various sizes and categories were received by the Oman Dry Dock Company in Duckham since the start of its operation in 2011. The company seeks to expand volume of current services in 2021. The current services rendered by Oman Dry Dock Company include ship maintenance, building offshore platforms for oil and gas industry, and manufacturing of steelworks for the existing petrochemical industries in Duckham Port. The company stated that the Dry Dock is currently receiving 100 ships annually. It seeks to reach an annual rate of 200 ships in 2021. The total funding balance granted by Islamic banks and windows increased to 3.4 billion Omani rials by the end of last July. The statistics issued by the Central Bank of Oman showed that the total deposits at the Islamic banks and windows witnessed notable increase by 14.5% as to reach 3.1 billion at the end of 2018. The statistics pointed out that the assets of Islamic banks and windows reached to 4.1 billion rials at the end of July, a round of 12.6% of the banking sector assets in the Sultanate. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry said that the number of applications of national and international trademarks, patents and copyrights amounted to more than 8,000 applications during the first nine months of the current year. The Ministry pointed out that applications included 7,643 national and international trademark applications, 307 patent applications and 145 copyright applications. The Ministry stressed the importance of intellectual property protection, 
lies in the fact that it enables the owners to benefit from their work and establish local industries based on these intellectual properties and encourage and attract foreign investments. The third edition of Muscat International Dermatology Conference started today at the Great Millennium Muscat. The inauguration ceremony was held under the auspice of His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Talib Al Hanahi, Minister, Ministry of Health Under Secretary for Planning and Affairs. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Rubai. With the aim of updating and exchanging the latest scientific advances in the field of dermatology, laser and cosmetics, more than 250 senior and junior dermatologists and residents from various healthcare institutions in the Sultanate are attending this specific conference, which is organized by the Department of Dermatology and Genitourinary Medicine at another hospital in collaboration with the Oman Dermatology Society. A range of topics will be covered at the conference by medical and dermatology professionals from every subspecialty worldwide. The conference, which includes a scientific exhibition on pharmaceutical uh, items uh, of various uh, companies, was preceded by a one-day teaching and training workshop on dermapathology at another hospital. The workshop discussed uh, dermal histology and its clinical applications. Dermatologists uh, from the public and private sector, as well as the Oman Medical Specialist Board uh, students, attended the workshop. This conference provides the best platform for specialists to highlight their knowledge in dermatological science, products and services and stay up to date on the latest developments in the field of dermatology. Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Sultanate of Oman Television, Masqat. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television before we end tonight's bulletin. Here are the main points once again. With the participation of experts and specialists from inside and outside the Sultanate, the first Oman Obesity Conference discusses the latest treatment and researches in the field. The Research Council funds for 111 student researchers as part of the Student Research Support Program for the current year. Saudi Arabia announces that suspects are in custody in the death of the Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi in Istanbul. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsrooms and the studio, it's good night.